Minasan Kanichiwa, and welcome to a retro play of Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble, or Metal Gear Solid Game Boy version. And this is like one of the best Game Boy games I've ever played. And one of the best games I've ever played. It's, it's Metal Gear Solid, so um, I'm going to change the options there, to fix it up. Yeah, go on easy for the sake of uh, the. Just to make it quick and easy, simple. But yeah, normally I play on normal mode and yeah this is when I first got this game at Christmas and I was really shocked to find out there was a Game Boy version of Metal Gear Solid. Now I thought this was going to be a complete Game Boy adapted version of Metal Gear Solid on the PS1 but it's not. It's completely different. It's its own story with its own thing. So yeah it's like this is Snake. Colonel can you hear me? It's like yeah, it's just so awesome. It's like even though it's graphically, it's not like great, but it's very. Despite that, it's actually pretty good. Like if for a Game Boy, it's really good graphics, and it's how do you put it? It's there's so much content in this game. You've got your VR missions, you've got bonus missions and stuff. Like the story to this game is amazing. The st story is really good. It's it's one of the best Metal Gear games ever. Like really, it's. Uh, I was really surprised by it, hands down. Very very surprised by it. And yeah, this is like straight from the the um, PS One. Like what what she's got. Like so yeah. I skip here a bit and just play it. So it's kind of like the old school Metal Gear games, like Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake for the MSX and the SNES. So yeah, it's kind of like that, and it just seems so. It seems so. It's it's really good. Like the gameplay, it takes that kind of thing, that Metal Gear Solid approach, and just makes it easier. So you can smack them like that, and they get knocked out, or you can kill them or whatever. With like punching them, uh, I need to. You got the radar as well, which is it's kind of small the screen, but as you can see, the graphics aren't. It's doable. It's not too bad, but for a Game Boy game, it's amazing. So I'm just gonna go on my items, and I'm not used to this because I'm using. Uh, I can't remember the controls. So yeah, I think start and select is. Item and weapons, yep, here we go. Let's see. Ah, so you, you still got your item slot and your weapon slot. So I'm just trying to figure out the controls. Ah, ah, there we go. That's the ration. Okay, and we need that to recover life because we eat rations and it gives us life for some reason. And that's what it's like in Metal Gear games. In the early Metal Gear games you had rations. I think they stopped using it in 3 and I think they came back in 4 but yeah. I actually missed the ration system. That old skill life bar in, in Metal Gear games. Because uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 was like went too straight to recovery which kind of benefits it from it like it's a sneaking game so you don't you are to avoid all the enemy sentries so yeah basically you're a secret agent uh, operative on a sneaking mission in an armed fortress full of terrorists and you have to stop them from launching a nuke yeah so it's a nuclear weapon so yeah it's cool it's awesome Gotta admit, like the color scheme's really good to this. Like you know the colors and everything, and the music's good. I'm surprised with this little cartridge and uh, the, the sound chip. It's not much, but really well done. Really good music. Uh, if it was like redone and remade with like an orchestra or like some like bad of bad of equipment, it would sound so good. And I really recommend anyone to. I, rec I, rem I, rem I recommend listening to it. I think there was one called Retribution, one of the soundtracks in it. Or Revenge or something. It's good. I like the uh, the sneaking theme in one of the areas in the game. So yeah, it's, it feels like an 80s style, 90s 
kind of thing. So yeah, you can crawl as well, and you can crawl in deep grass, which is really weird for some reason. Which is not weird for a sneaking game, but having a patch of grass just right there is kind of odd. That's A. And there's the mud as well, which you could probably sneak through that, but... It's water. Oh, oh god, he's uh, found me. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. That's definitely not good. I, I just have to run. So yeah, you can run diagonally. Um, you know, it's kind of, oh, gotta get away from the mud. It's slowing me down, I think. Feels like it is. Okay, we escaped, yay. Alright, so here's the bridge here. Get a ration. Okay, we're out of rations. We can only carry two for the moment, just like the original game. I think we can, yeah, as you can see, we're going through here. It's uh, wasting our oxygen gauge here. Oh, whoa, there's a... I thought I could cross this. No. I can't climb up or anything. Okay, so... Go back. I'll go the other way. Yeah, like I said, I first got this for Christmas and I was like blown away by it. It's one of my favorite Game Boy games ever. Such a big Metal Gear fan. And... Yeah, I was like just blown away by the gameplay. It's been ages since... It's been years since I played this. It's been like over... Probably 10 years? Over over 20 years now. Probably, yeah. Is it over 20 years? No, no, I think probably, yeah, about 17 years since I last played it. My rank's not good. It was poor. But yeah, I love that sound, the old school soundtrack of Metal Gear, so yeah. And I can imagine this being a movie, like... Like, the cutscenes are good, the art direction's really good as well. And, uh... The sprite animation's really good, it's just... Sprite animation? Yeah, the sprites and stuff. So now we're here. So we're outside the fortress. So yeah, it kind of feels like... It kind of feels a lot like uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 in that regard. Where you were in the jungle first and then you make your way to the to the forest. I mean, make your way to the fortress. Sorry. So yeah, we're just out here. And we have to go inside. So it's a big, massive fortress. Really big. And I like it. It's really good as well. It's, I can't believe it. And that is, like the original Metal Gear. Um, of Metal Gear 2. It's got all these areas. You've got a cargo bay. Like, with like boxes. A warehouse. You've got a power plant. And there's a point where you have to set C4. And explode a load of stuff. So you just do it like that. And you just blow up equipment. And well, you just use C4 to blow up the place, and I think that's one of the missions. I can't remember, but I thought it was really cool. I liked it. Um, every item you find in this game can be used in awesome ways, which is kind of a shame with Metal Gear Solid 4 because you don't feel it with Metal Gear Solid 4. You could just have one weapon and use that one weapon throughout the entire game, but with this game, every item you use it like gas mask, cigarettes. Uh, handgun, like remote controlled missiles, you use it and that's what makes it so good. It, it's a very enriching game. And here's some soldiers here, slacking off, having a nap, sleeping, so hmm. Wish I could probably kill them. Is he moving? Oh, I'm not moving now, okay. But yeah, so... It's, it's good, it's not bad. And... I'll just... Yes, yes, finally we got suppressor for the gun. So, now we can shoot it without being heard by the guards. Uh, which one is it? The... There we go, yes. Nice, nice. So yeah, we got the suppressor. So we can shoot it and kill people. Which, I think it lowers your rank. This is like done in stages. Even though the whole map of the game is, is big and massive, it's like loaded in stages. So it's like stage one, stage two. But yeah, it's really good. Um, I'm just looking around here. I, I just like... It's so old school. And I like it. It's like really freaking cool. Oh, 
I find it a bit easy. It's a, well, and again, like this is the first stage, so it's, it's kind of easy. Uh, some doors are locked, you need a key card. So once you get the key card, it's just regular Metal Gear Solid. The story is so good, the characters are great. You have a guy with a flamethrower. You have some kind of person who uses dolls. The bosses are crazy. It's what you expect from a Metal Gear game. Yeah, it's... it's Alright, this is Metal Gear in a Game Boy form. This is Metal Gear Portable in a way. I love it. Uh, I, if you never played this game before, I recommend you play, play it on an emulator or if, if you can have an original Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance, try and pick it up somewhere. It's probably, it might be expensive. It might be, yeah, well, I was like blown away when I got to Christmas, like, oh my god, this is Metal Gear. I was like, I'm just Metal Gear Vampire, I'm like, thank you for the gift, I was like, awesome, great. And this is like, really, this is like Metal Gear Solid 1 Snake Art, he's come from retirement, it's different, it's an alter, the story is an ultimate take on Metal Gear Solid. It hasn't got any of the characters from Metal Gear Solid PS1, it's just, it's own different story. But it's, uh, it's got different characters, different story. The only returning characters are, are Maybing, Roy Campbell, and Solid Snake. Uh, I think you've got a weapons expert, and uh, you've got uh, you have to run down your field with someone. I think it's here. One of the Delta Force team members called Chris. She's like the um, the Meryl of the game. So yeah. So that's uh, it. Takes a lot of inspiration from all the other Metal Gear games and puts them into one neat package which is great so you can crawl on the docks and all that so yeah this is cool I it's I what I don't like is the, like the tinny style radio thing from the Kodak it's kind of annoying it's kind of a bit scratchy on my ears and I, I don't like it <laughs> so I, I don't know why I think maybe I don't think it may, they try to make it seem like a radio but I think it was a bad idea because it just feels it just sounds a bit it doesn't sound good on my ears so yeah so yeah I like, don't believe everything some say I'm just an attention seeking killer <laughs> so yeah, it's a good script, it's a good story. So yeah, we just go through this part, we kill, looking for equipment, getting weapons and ammo, and yeah. So yeah, there's some moments where like it loads up the area here, which I think, I, I always wanted a remake of this game. Honestly, I'd rather have a remake of this than all the others. Which I don't mind having a remake of Metal Gear or Metal Gear 2. They're great, great games. But I would love a remake. Like a HD Fox Engine remake of this would be amazing. And it's... Yeah, you have to go up against the wall. Which you'll probably... Yes, we've got the ID card. So we can open the level 1 doors. So yeah, it's... It's cool. It's good. And I highly, I we could have said this, because I might do a last play of this, I don't know, it's, it's awesome, I really do enjoy it a lot. Um, I think I'll probably, wait, there's, there's a camera there, so there's a camera over there, so I have to avoid it. Which the cameras like move around, like up and down, like. So they don't like, they're not stayed in one place and they like a cone shaped vision. It's the lines, are all the guards and cameras work in a line. So you gotta get out of the line of sight. So you just do it like that. Right, right we crawl under here. I don't know why. Maintenance is awful in this place. Um, there's a guard there. If you go on the metal grids, you make a sound and the guards hear you. So I'll be careful with that. I think there's some places where your footprints can be seen, like in mud or grassy areas, so you gotta like avoid them. 
So yeah, everything you like about, about Metal Gear, or you know about Metal Gear is in this. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thank you for watching, and yeah.